you talked to Will? I haven't. I don't know where he is. He's just not here. Okay. And I have no projector. Okay. Well, we can make do. Thank you. I'm sorry. No problem. We'll figure it out. We're you improvisers. Do you know you have a ring? We have, we have a ring, yes. So we're ready. We may have to perform in the ring. I know. If it's safe. It is safe. All right. Now we can it's figure it out. It's a little loud, but it's safe. All right, cool. Any suggestion for something that could fit on the stage, like a boxing ring? Or it's a wrestling outside. ring. It's a wrestling ring. Is it? Yeah. I can't wait for the second act. The, 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 the play is about luchadors. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah so. I forgot. Uh, I didn't bring any water. I'm sorry. It's okay. I just have what I've got left from and I, I think we need to wait a little while to do the uh, the miscatch. Like it should be like yes, yeah. It should be a bit. Like it should be a bit. Yeah. So we'll take uh, our time with it next time. Yeah, it'll be fun. <laughs> so sorry. Yeah. Hola. It's gonna be yeah, exactly. Challenge. Hermosa, hermosa. So. Oh. Uh, people on. Uh, hello, by the by. Good to see all of you. Um, I'm going to try and set this camera up a little bit uh, further away from the piano tonight. So we'll see how that goes. I'm going to set the camera away from the piano, Spinoni. It's so dark backstage. Woogie, 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 woo. Ah, ah, ah. Nightmare. A nightmare. Is this a light? Oh, no light switch. Where? I can't even see. I can't see! I can't, oh, there, wow. My phone turned the light on. Oh, you guys put up a, there, whoa! Hey, look at that. All right, here we go. Here's the buzz ding. Machine, the machine. Buzz ding machine. Buzzing. Got the doohickey in there. I need to get the dongle. Fantastic. We're dongled. All right, guys. Let me dongle it up, and uh, here we go. Oh, is Pen coming? I think so. Right. Okay. I put. I thought. I thought he was. Uh, yeah, I'm a lost dongle. Yeah, it showed up just last week. Okay. The fucking lost dongle. So how you been, Matt? I'm doing good. Is it on me? It is on you. Oh, hi everybody. I'm doing good. Good. I'm a little. Uh, a little under the weather, but not, not in like a, a contagious cold way. Um, What's I, it from? I have AIDS. Oh, a little bit. I'm glad that's not like contagious. A little, like a little bit. Of Thank goodness it's not contagious. Well, it's not, it's not like it's just like if I cough on you. I mean, you shouldn't drink my chocolate milk. Your. You guys remember that episode of Twenty One Jump Street? Anyone? Such a fucking lie. That was a big emotional. You can drink your chocolate milk. It is. That's the whole lesson of Tony and Jump Street. Is Go ahead, Depp, drink chocolate milk. Tony Depp wouldn't drink his uh, AIDS for AIDSy friend's chocolate milk. Um, I believe his name is Captain AIDSy Friends. Captain AIDSy Friends? Captain AIDSy Friends. So we have a weird stage. Have you showed them already? Yeah, this they saw pretty, it. It's going to be pretty strange. I got the camera set there right at the corner. I think we'll just play at the corner. Yeah. I said we can get up in the ring if we want to. It's loud as fuck, though. The ring is loud? Yeah, walking around, it's like, dunk, 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 dunk. dunk. Yeah, it's made for bumps. Right, right, for right. taking hits and sounding like it's going inside. Yeah, inside. I will. Uh, yeah, I guess we, I guess it's there if we need it, if we feel inspired. Maybe for triple threat, it would be funny to get in the ring. Might be good for pen. Yeah, yeah triple we'll threat see. would be okay. Triple threat might be fun because we're not going to be bumps, jump, jumping around as much. Yeah, yeah. Triple threat, I think we'll do in the ring. Yeah. Uh, no. Uh, no. Uh, no. no Matt's dad is not here. No. Uh, no pictures. My dad left. But I was actually here in time for Bug Show last week. He didn't want to stay up that late. I get that. So I get that. Um, no, my dad's in a, my dad's home. He's uh, very uh, thrilled about all of his uh, positive tweets. I've been I've been I've been screen grabbing him and sending it to him. Oh, that's great. You know, positive reaction that people love. I think it's mm -hmm. hilarious that people like hearing that my dad on the radio. That was great. Uh, today's episode is even more interesting. Yeah, the one really that's going like up. the one that's coming up for Thursday. Yeah, the one that's coming tomorrow is going to be interesting. Yeah, we're gonna, we try to try to get him to tell some war stories. A lot of Dave Donnelly, which he thinks are boring. After we say I ran out of material, I was like, you don't even realize. No, it's got to be stuff. But um, anyhow, guys, get in the fucking ring.
Someone ran into you in the elevator a few minutes ago. Ran into me? Yeah, I think so. Your dad is awesome. It's true. Yeah. That part's true. What elevator would you run into me? Oh, I know who you are. I did run into you in the elevator earlier. How's it going? Thanks for tuning in. I never, it's like weird when locals watch on Periscope. I'm always like, oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll get things going few minutes here. Yeah, I'll check him with Penn. He's not here yet, but last time he just kind of zoomed over and just walked in. Yeah. I told him that he can always, always they can just walk in and Come leave. in whenever he wants, right? Yeah. He can come in and leave. Yep, yep, yep. He was polite for like four shows, and I was like, all right, enough. Just do what you want. Just do what the hell you want. I know you don't like improv. I'm glad you think <laughs> we're funny. Yeah. After a while, it still becomes improv. Yeah, you've seen enough improv. Uh, uh. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. You got the run ding machine, buzz ding machine? Do I? Do I? I don't know. You lost my shit. Alright, let me hook this up. Me, but I'm going to uh, uh, try a, a multiple car trip with a lot of different things happening. I'm going to ask you to cut off not too many, but about a quarter of the deck. Okay, just cut off about that. Yeah. Just hold just like that to be perfect. I'll have someone else do that. Would you cut off about a quarter of the deck? Yeah, okay, good, good, good. Hold just like that. And now would you cut off, uh, don't cut off all of them, cut off a little bit. Now take the car and look at the faces just like this and memorize the face of the car. The car you cut to. Look at it. Did you look at it? Memorize it. Now it's really important. What happened last week, I believe, is that the guy forgot. So, <laughs> so what he did was when I was coming around to it, it looked like I screwed up, which I may very well have. 
But look, look, you got to fit. I'll shuffle them up. I just shuffle. I tell you that. Shuffle them up really good, so I couldn't possibly know uh, where uh, where your card is. And you remember that card that was on the face? Is that right? Remember the card that was on the face? Now I'm going to try get them all shuffled up. You got the card clear in your head? Hold them up like this with the with the, with the, uh, with, the with the backs to the the faces. And look at them. Look at them. Don't let me see the faces. But look at it, I just want to get an idea of what you're looking at. Concentrate on the card that you picked, okay? As I go through, just concentrate on the card. Yeah, just concentrate on that, okay? Uh, yeah, look, look at it, look at it. Yeah, let me see. Keep looking. <laughs> <laughs> now you've got one card you looked in there. You're still saying it. Okay. You don't have to keep going. I think I got it. I think I got it. I think you picked a, uh, picked a black card, is that right? Did you <coughs> pick a black card, is that right? Did you not pick a black card? Uh, what's that? I picked a red. Yeah, you picked a red card. You picked a low card, right? A low card? <laughs> this is this is gonna go this is gonna go badly again. Oh no! You picked a uh, you picked a heart, is that right? Yes. Picked a heart. Yeah, one out of three. Yeah, one out of three. <laughs> and you picked the uh, picked the ten of hearts, is that right? You didn't pick the ten of hearts. You picked the king of hearts. King of hearts. Okay, that's what you want. So you pick the one. Uh, let's let's not get never even mind. We can't go long on this. Uh, you pick the ace Okay, now to kind of redeem myself from this, uh, take your cards and fan them out like she did. Take your cards and fan them out like she did, and just uh, hold them up to me so I can I can see their face. King of Hearts, really? Okay. Uh, uh, hold, hold, flash the faces at me, okay? Flash, flash them. Flash the faces at me, okay? Uh, okay boy, this is really good. Turn back around. Okay, I'm going to try to uh, name every card in your hand and end with a card that you uh, that you chose, okay? So already I'm coming back next week to do this. <laughs> <laughs> I could just stop now and go, and go home, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to do that. Uh, uh, give me the um, give me the two of diamonds. Okay, the uh, two of diamonds. Now give me the uh, give me the uh, queen of clubs. Uh, okay, good. I think. Whoa, I wait. Oh shit. Which was a club? This one, right? Yeah. 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 As a club. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, get in. Okay. Oh, give me the nine of clubs. <laughs> give me ten hearts. Give me the ace of, eight of diamonds. Eight of diamonds. Eight of diamonds. Give me two of clubs. Give me the ace of clubs. That's good. Uh, give me the uh, give me the seven of hearts. Give me the seven of clubs. Seven of clubs. Clubs is that round you want. Yeah. Give me the four spades. Give me the seven of hearts. And you got one card left? Yeah. Is that right? Mm -hmm. That's the card you looked at? Yeah. That's the card you looked at. You shuffled them all up. You picked the uh, 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 eight of spades. Yeah. I just get that. God damn it. You It's not really her fault. Yeah. Anyone, any occupation at all. Welder. 
Welder. Uh, Welder. Great. Yeah. And you, name an animal. Me? No, you. Horse. Horse. Horse welder. Horse welder. <laughs> We're going to do a song about a horse welder. Horse welder. Horse welder. Horse horse welder. Horse welder. Horse welder. Horse welder. I like to gallop fast and be racing this kind of blast. So high, I balance on my four feet. I have a mask special for my head because it's big and wide and long and a little bit weird. And I have to make sure I don't fall into the horse feet. All day I weld, that's what I do. And like my grandpappy, when I'm done, I'll be turned into glue. I'm a horse welder, horse welder, horse welder. Horse welder, horse welder, horse welder. I got talent, I got a class. I got play. I cannot race for Weld your ass. Weld your ass. That's right. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Many people say, why do you try? I have to try. To weld. And I say, why? Because I like to do my own horseshoe. My own I've been around the block. I've been around the block. And I keep the same distance from the heat with my huge car. My huge car. Horse welder. Horse welder. Horse welder. Horse welder, yes, that's right. But I'm an exotic dancer by night. <laughs> the day I weld, at night, I shake my ass. I work hard for the money. You know it's true. Welding every job they tell me to. <laughs> Flashing my butt, making some sweet, sweet cash. I see that hard on in your pants. <laughs> I can't blame you. I've got two more legs than that bitch from Flash Dance. I'm a horse welder, horse welder, horse welder. She welded me. Horse welder, horse welder, horse welder. Try that top one again. There you go. Hit it with a oh, throw. Don't let it. 
Yeah. There you go, Maria. Yes. <laughs> take part in this. You should take up equal space as Paul and I in this scene, okay? Yeah. Don't be a prank, okay? Very Who are you here with? Who are you here at the show with? My father and his friends. Your father and his friends. Okay, cool. So, uh, uh, this is uh, Maria. What's your father's name? What is your name, sir? Gerardo. Gerardo? Okay. Maria, which of us would you like to play Gerardo? And which of us would you like to play you? Gerardo. I will play Gerardo. Okay. I will be Maria. Yeah. Because I am a father like Gerardo. And you're a little girl. Right? <laughs> uh, and then, uh, Maria, so we're going to uh, reenact uh, basically a, a, a day in the, you, you and your father's life. Anything that we get right, uh, or, I'm sorry, anything we get wrong. If we don't get the details uh, correct, I want you to hit that red button real hard, okay? So let's say I say, oh, hello, Gerard. Okay, that's not his name, it's Gerardo. You know that name. Yeah. All right, so just lay on it. Go, get, get, get around. Anything that we do, if it's a behavior you wouldn't do, if it's a behavior your father wouldn't do, hit that button, let us know. If it's a behavior that we would do, that you guys would involve yourselves in, then hit the ring. And that sounds like, there we go. Maria, we keep testing you because you seem a little tense. <laughs> and here's what needs to happen. You gotta be a picky motherfucker on this, okay? You gotta be with authority. The more you fuck with us, the more you amuse these people. That makes sense? Okay. So really fuck with us. Make sure we get it right. Commit! Alright. Alright, this is the day in the life of Maria and Gerard. Yes. Dad, it's already noon and you're still not awake. Dad, it's like 8 a.m. and you're still not awake. <laughs> yes, it's the usual. No man up at 8 a.m. Good morning, my favorite daughter. <laughs> lay on it, lay on it, lay on it. Everyone needs to hear it, everyone needs to hear it. Right, you are. Yeah, you're my favorite I daughter. I am your favorite yeah. daughter. Yeah, because I make you breakfast. Because I go out and get breakfast for you. Because I'm the pretty one. <laughs> you sure are. And all my other daughters are hideous. <laughs> and all my other daughters, you know, they, they clean up okay. <laughs> okay. Listen, today's unusual. I want to do a special activity just you and I, father daughter. I figured we'd do your favorite activity, horseback riding. Uh, making our own greeting cards. Uh, building a, a ship inside a box. Going shopping at a ball. Going to see a movie. Yes! Great! The very unique activity of taking you to a movie. <laughs> Dad, you know, you know I love going to the movies with you because you always buy the giant popcorn. You always buy the smallest popcorn. You never spend anything. You sneak your own snacks in. You don't like snacks in movies. You don't eat. You, instead of eating, decide to bring drinks to the theater. Yeah. Right. They got a six pack of our favorite beer, Bush Light. <laughs> Here in the theater, and we're going to see a war movie. That's right. No, we're going to see a heartwarming tale. About we're going to see. We're going to see a, a Pixar animated film. We're going to see a, the big blockbuster Hollywood science fiction movie. Yeah, I love these blockbuster science fiction movies. Oh, here, shotgun this beer. Got it. <laughs> The time I taught my own daughter how to shotgun it there. <laughs> That's why I'm your favorite. <laughs> Listen, I know that life's been tough since the divorce. <laughs> it may seem like an inappropriate detail to bring up at this time. <laughs> the one really no. I'd, rather, I'd like to enjoy the movie, Dad. <laughs> okay. okay. So I just want you to know that. Uh, uh, I, I still hate your mother. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. Nobody needs to push that talking. I just want to know how this hard to talk. Well, uh, Dad, uh, I've decided that I'm going to make a big career change. Really? Yes, I'm, I'm going, I'm going back to school. <laughs> you are? Yeah. It looks like 
Psychology? Psychology. Uh, for veterinary studies. For uh, musical theater. I'm going back to school for broadcasting. <laughs> no, I am. Wow. Uh, I'm going to do an expose on mom. <laughs> Yeah, she's gonna get it. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. Give me another beer. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah. 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 Shakespeare. This guy's ready to participate tonight. He's ready. Shakespeare. Uh, then, go ahead, uh, sir, name a genre of music. Let's go for the triple crown here. Jazz. Jazz! Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. So we're going to do a Star Wars, Shakespeare, and jazz. Yeah. Let's start off doing it in the style of Star Wars. Okay. <laughs> Me, the hologram of Obi 
Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> ben, you come back to help me choose clothes for the prom? Yes. Yes. I want to help you fuck your sister. <laughs> <laughs> Princess Leia is the most popular girl in school. And no, she's so, popular. And even though she's just she's she's my sister? Oh, you don't know that yet? No! Yeah, she totally is. Just what? Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Listen, stay focused, Luke. What? If you want to be on the, if you want to get in touch with the Force, you have to be popular in school. The Force is about fucking your sister? No, the Force is about popularity. Fucking your sister is the obstacle. <laughs> Alright. Well, I have this shiny vest. And the force is guiding me to these shiny pants. No, the force is that you're guiding yourself to shiny pants. <laughs> See, Jimmy, I'm getting here. Help this guy pick up the right pants. Oh, my. Absolutely. You have chosen wrong. No one wants to see you in shiny vest and pants combination. That's ridiculous. Everyone knows you must go with one or the other. Woo! Yeah. I'm going to shut this fucker off. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll leave you. Easy up to. <laughs> oh, my up to. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> yes, he's going to fuck him. I know it's gross. <laughs> well, I mean, his dad made me. How weird is that? <laughs> Incest runs in the family. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Don't tell him. <laughs> keep that under your hat. <laughs> Enough. <laughs> All right, let's get going. <laughs> oh, my God. Luke, listen, if you don't fuck Leia, I will. What, what are you doing? I found your lightsaber. Oh, it was left in this changing room. Oh, shit. <laughs> no, uh, it's too early, but don't. Careful. Watch it. This is. Be careful. There's mosquitoes all over this place. <laughs> <laughs> the field flew into it and zapped themselves. Uh, sorry, Ben. I guess. I guess I'm not going to go to the prom. No. You must. This is your time. You must take your saber, not your lightsaber, your human cocksaber. <laughs> <laughs> you must have a station and pick up some power converters. Yeah, we'll do that later. Yeah. First, you must force your saber into your saber. I really think this is the wrong plan. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it was me, Darth Vader, the whole time. Oh, no! <laughs> I get a kick out of making people fuck their own relatives. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, guess oh, what's closer, oh, Dad? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, see? Yeah. <laughs> Shakespeare, Shakespeare, Shakespeare. <laughs> Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou changing? <laughs> Egad, by the face of Jupiter, may all the gods hide their own eyes and their own knowledge, for seeing upon thy terrible outfit shall shatter everyone's brain, the fashion we shall take the heads. Peace, Julia. Tis but a vest I wear. <laughs> <laughs> it is but a vest and only a vest you wear. No pants I see on me, no shoes. Why needeth thy pants? When my love for you can be more clearly expressed. <laughs> 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 Don't you understand? <sighs> upon the night is a party, a party in which you must escort me. Impressions must make me, my father, my Capulet. Me, didn't you a Montague? You must wear pants. <laughs> <laughs> Such ridiculous customs, these events, these soirees that you care for. Why indulge your father's desires? Let us run away together. You and I, pantsless and vested. Do you seek no fun, shall I have? Nay, Juliet. Your pants are the party I seek. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love you in these words. Ah, oh, what if we sweeten the journey and added a favor? 
fake death for no reason. Indeed, it could be quite, quite the party foul for us to pretend to die, to feign our own expiration there at the celebration. Hmm. Let me think upon it. And then, afterward, I promise to lay with you in Lord Bannister's backyard, where he keeps his tools. The shed? Yes. You and I will bang in the banisher. <laughs> <laughs> and to the banisher, we should go first. Yes. Banisher? Let us go now. Banisher. Banisher. Yes. <laughs> you and I, banisher. Both of us, now. banisher now. Banisher now. Oh, no. I'm a girl. I don't like quick plans that lay to sex. I like obstacles for no reason. Soft love. <laughs> Soft love, let me calm you with a selection of pantalones. Oh. <laughs> shiny? Oh. Mm. Yeah. Dull. Yes, please, dull. The shiny ones, along with thy best, assault mine eyes like a thousand daggers. They only shine for you. <laughs> you are the light. You are the sun. Wait a second. <laughs> the hot piece of ass I want to fuck! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Romeo, a wordsmith thou art. <laughs> Come, Juliet. Join me here in the changing room. We need not be in the banish shed. Oh no! My maid is here! It's bullshit. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> see, see. Adjust the camera. All right. 
We're going to take it into the ring. Oh, yes. yes. Mm hmm. All right. Just a little adjustment. Oh, Boom. My, uh, Done. We, uh, let me see this here. <laughs> Can you? Oh. Yeah. The triple threat. If we can do that, we have done that. So <laughs> yes. All right. So uh, what we need to get us started is how about an item that you've had to purchase for someone recently? Tampon. Tampon so is the first suggestion. Thank you. Tampon. Tampon. Mm -hmm. 185 tampons walking to the bar. The bartender says, "I'm sorry, we don't serve tampons here." The tampons are like, "Why not?" The bartender says, "Too many strings attached." <laughs> 185 tampons are underage. They sneak into the bar. They think they're undetected, except the bartender can see the string hanging out. Woo! <laughs> yes. <laughs> they call me the tampon because I come in packs of 12. <laughs> I like my women like I like my tampons. I like my uh, women like I like uh, my tampons. Uh, stuffed down the crotch of my pants. <laughs> <laughs> Triple threat. Triple First threat. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> First, yes. yes. Thank you for the ring. Crisscross, crisscross. Uh, can we get uh, another item that you uh, might have to purchase uh, in an emergency? Band-Aids! Band-Aids! Band-Aids, thank you! 185 Band-Aids walk to the bar, and the uh, bartender says, we don't serve Band-Aids here. And the Band-Aids say, oh, we're stuck on you. 185 Band-Aids walk to the bar, the bartender says, we don't serve Band-Aids here. And the Band-Aids leave slowly, they start to cry, and the bartender says, you know, it'll hurt less if you leave faster. <laughs> Uh, they call me the Band-Aid because I'm brownish and sticky. Uh, 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 <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> I like my uh, I like my women like I like my Band-Aids. Uh, recommended to me by a school nurse. <laughs> <laughs> I like my women like I like my Band-Aids with Batman designs. <laughs> says, I'm sorry, we're going to have to cut you off. And the lawn flamingos are like, dude, we've been standing on one leg this whole time. <laughs> we're fine. <laughs> I like my women like I like my lawn flamingos. Uh, the popular in Florida. I like my women who are popular in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> hey oh, Punchline! <laughs> uh, they call me the lawn flamingo, because I go in about an inch deep. That's about it. <laughs> uh, I like my women like I like my lawn flamingos. Even if they're, even if they, their head's broken off, I'll get with them at a garage sale. <laughs> <laughs> nice triple threat. Triple lawn flamingo. Triple threat. Lawn flamingo. Boy, anything else on the internet? Bowling ball. Bowling ball. Bowling ball. I like my women like I like my bowling ball. You get three fingers in them, no problem. Yeah. <laughs> Call me the bowling ball. You get three fingers in me, no problem. <laughs> I'm eating my bowling ball. Over the bar, we'll take three fingers. 
Pickers and Scotch. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what else we got? <laughs> How about another item slightly related to sports? Bicycle. Bicycle. Perfect. Bicycle. Slightly related to sports. Yeah. Uh, 185 <laughs> bicycles walk to the bar. Archie says we don't serve bicycles here. Bicycles are like that's fine. We got our own flat tire. Oh, All right. Oh, 185 oh, bicycles oh, walk to the bar. Uh, they're like, let me guess, you won't serve. The bartender's like, no, you can't have a beer. And they go, oh, well, spoke too soon. <laughs> <laughs> I like my women like I like my bicycles with the seat removed. Whoa. I like my women like I like uh, my bicycles. At least two rim jobs. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yes, and yes. They call me the broken bicycle because oh. I am off the chain. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. Oh. All right, right, something else. <laughs> Protective cup. Protective cup? Protective cup. Jack strap. Yeah. Yeah. That's the wording on protect your cup. I, uh... 185 protective cups walk into the bar. The bartender says, we don't serve protective cups here. Only dangerous glass ones. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like the women, like I like uh, my protective cup. Strapped to my crotch. <laughs> 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 uh, they call me the protective cup because I'm all over some baller's jock. <laughs> they call me the protective cup mostly because of how I smell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's get another one. Icy hot. Icy hot, oh. yes! Uh, oh. Oh. Every time I hear icy hot, I can only think of a story where I, uh, this one kid. Everyone found out that he mistakenly masturbated with him. Oh, yeah. And it was like the only story anyone would make him tell. But, uh, oh, it was like he was at a party, it was like only a matter of time before someone would bring up that, you know, that icy hot story. Don't with icy hot. Ooh. <laughs> uh, I don't uh, recommend it. Keep giving. No, I would say not. Yeah. Uh, like I have still no children to this day. <laughs> <laughs> I like my women like I like my icy hot. <laughs> Endorsed by Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> 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 I mean, icy hots walk on the bar, and says, We don't serve icy hots here. Ah, I'm just kidding. You guys don't have a drink. You guys have a drink. No! Fuck you guys. Get out of here. No, 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 no. You know what? Shots on me. Shots on me. <laughs> and then 185 uh, icy hots are like, You're hot and you're cold. And yes, and you're cold. And you're kidding and you're out. That's pretty great. <laughs> They call me the icy hot because I am a gelatinous tub. We <laughs> 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 go one more. Do I ever know? We get out of the bathtub. <laughs> Let's go one more. <laughs> Free throw line. Free throw line. <laughs> hey, yeah. Free throw line. I've never had that one. That's great. <laughs> yeah. 185 free throw lines walk into the bar. And the bartender says, I'm sorry, we don't serve free throw lines here. And the free throw lines just keep missing. They just keep yeah. missing. <laughs> can't make I it. I said, 185 free throw lines walk over to Shaquille O'Neal's bar. Oh, there it is. And Shaquille O'Neal serves about 10 of them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they call me the free throw line. Because people keep about 15 feet away when they take a shot at me. <laughs> <laughs> I like my women, like I like uh, my free throw lines. They, they are into the charity strike. Yeah. <laughs> charity lane, charity, charity strike, I was close. I was close. Uh, <laughs> I like my women, like I like my free throw lines. I get there when I'm foul. <laughs> uh, I like I like my women like I like my free throw lines. It's where most white people score. Is that it? I think that's it. Triple threat, triple threat.
this thing. I do, I do love it. When we were truly upstage, can you imagine, Greg, can you imagine if your kids were here on this thing? Oh my gosh. They'd be dead on it. They would. They would be dead. Uh, all right, uh, let's see here. You and you stuck around tonight. Yeah. Regret. I didn't plan on it. <laughs> but I was transfixed. <laughs> Do you want to tell any stories, or you want to just chill out? I can, you, you want to, I, I want to, uh, I, I will, I will. Yeah. Okay. I didn't decide the story I'm going to tell. You already have decided? It's rather short. Okay, awesome. great. So, uh, the way this works is, uh, because normally we have a big screen here, but it's going to be a big grating here. And we can't project shit on this ring. So, uh, normally we have people there on Periscope, or every show we do, we broadcast on Periscope. And now, our Periscopes are uploaded to our YouTube page, thanks to a listener who knows more about technology than us. Um, so, uh, uh, all that magic is on YouTube, guys. So, uh, uh, we're going to do uh, a game here where Penn's going to tell a story, here he knows what he's going to tell, but I've not heard it before. And then we're going to do improv based on the story that Penn tells. Yes. Ladies First story. Welcome First back, short Penn. story. Yeah, short story. <laughs> uh, so this afternoon, I went out and had coffee with Matt Franco. You know who Matt Franco is? He's the winner of America's Got Talent. And uh, uh, we were talking about magic. Uh, and we're also we're both from New England. He's from Rhode Island. And I'm from uh, Greenfield, Massachusetts. Both are from large. small towns. So uh, as we talked longer, after about 45 minutes, both of our accents came back. So <laughs> we were sitting at Madhouse Coffee, looking at each other going, ah, 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 ah. It was all making those weird chicken cluck sounds. <laughs> and I was telling him about, uh, about uh, the bucket show and said that he should come here and see if his tricks fucking work. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, Matt said, uh, well, do, what, what are they doing? I said, well, we do, I've been doing an opening thing where I do a magic trick, and then later on, sometimes I tell a story. And he said, well, you know, the story that I'm telling about you, and I've realized that I'm violating, by doing this, I'm violating several levels of trust. Uh, <laughs> uh, we were backstage, uh, Matt Franco, uh, David Copperfield, uh, uh, Derek uh, De Guardia from, uh, from LA, and a bunch of other magicians at, at a magic convention here in town. And uh, uh, Matt Franco was very, very offended that people thought he'd been using camera tricks on one of his specials. He does not use camera tricks. Editing tricks? Yes. Camera tricks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's one trick that he did that everybody thought that he used uh, that he used a camera trick for. He was really really proud of the fact he didn't use a camera trick because that would have been easy, more deceptive, and a better trick. <laughs> he instead got a perfect mask of himself made, and he had a guy the same build, and this mask cost him a huge fucking amount of money to put the mask on, and then he could make a quick switch from one place to another because he's not a twin. He could actually have a mask instead. So we gave him a twin so he could do this trick. And now we have this mask that he paid tens of thousands of dollars for that he used on one magic trick. So he wanted to do a thing for magicians because he didn't want anybody outside of the magic community to know that he used a mask. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he didn't, but that was my idea of how he might have done it. <laughs> so he was backstage, and David Copperfield was asking him how the how the hair was made so perfect on the mask. And that was absolutely perfect. And um, Derek was asking him, since the mask was so perfect, he was going to use it in the live show. Why the fuck he didn't bother shaving his own face so it actually match? <laughs> He had like stubble on his real face and not on a mask. And then the other magicians were all coming in with a magic point of view. And I said, you've got to blow him while he's in the mask. <laughs> you have got to blow him while he's in the mask. <laughs> and, uh, and, and Matt said, well, no, 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 I'm not gay. And I said, well, this is another movie. <laughs> <laughs> It's got to do with a great story. He's wearing a mask 
that looks exactly like you. I want to have you blowing him in the mask. I think it would look terrific. And at that point, of course, David Copperfield came on board. <laughs> you know, he's right. <laughs> I don't agree with him on much. We have a lot of disagreements in the past, but we do agree on this. <laughs> And Derek said, you know, I, I think you should blow him in the mask, but <laughs> shave first. <laughs> and then we had, we were shooting a little video with Johnny Thompson, so we had Emery Emery there, who said, I can shoot this. And then, <laughs> I suddenly realized, simultaneously, two things. One was, that I was the only one in the room who wasn't kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and two was that Matt had figured that out at all. <laughs> and Matt said it was all he could think about was that there was nothing else in my head at a magic convention except him wearing a perfect mask of himself that NBC spent a shitload of money for, and I wanted him to blow his assistant while he wore the mask of Matt Franco. And I told Matt Franco I was telling I was going to tell that story tonight, yeah. and Matt Franco thought I was kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is in the internet. Listen, I, uh, I'm glad you finally had your childhood dream come true of fucking me. Yeah, I'm glad I got a chance to fuck you too. I've been waiting to fuck you since we was childs. Now I can. Now I get all famous and I got rid of my accent. And, uh, yeah, I know, you're all city-fied. But I'm telling you, <laughs> once we get to fucking, things is going to change back a ways. <laughs> Why are you just calmly drinking a beer right now? 
what else am I going to do? And I put coffee in this beer, too. You put coffee in this beer? That's it. Man, you are fucked up. First, I thought you were kind of fucked up because you killed everybody you work with. But now you put coffee in beer. I think you're really fucked up. Man, your, your texts just don't carry the same kind of information you think they do. Oh, who would think I was that suggesting you kill everybody at work? Anybody who read that text. It said, you should kill everybody at work who you're angry with. <laughs> you didn't use a funny font. You didn't throw an emoji on there. I did, I put an ellipses at the end. I put a dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Meaning like, I'm just thinking. I, I just thought you hit period three times. <laughs> it was the end of a sentence. It wasn't the end of a thought. The thought was done. You should kill everybody at work that you don't get on with. Dot, dot, dot. Whoops, he added two periods. I was hoping it was maybe a, maybe at best we kick out like a brainstorming session. You text back a few options, I text back a few options. I think own. the brainstorming was done. We came to the solution. <laughs> I mean, it's a good idea. You, you shouldn't have, you should have killed everybody you work with. You shouldn't have texted me to do it. Okay, <laughs> let's say we both accept blame here. I you killed a bunch of people, right? <laughs> That's not as bad as texting someone mistakenly. You just said it. What? It's not as bad as texting, texting someone mistakenly. Oh, shit. I meant the other way around. Well, too late. Again, this is your problem with communication. <laughs> say what you mean and mean what you say. <laughs> right. Special guest. Holy shit. We'll see. 
You're gonna fly my dad back out? Yep! <laughs> Dave Donnelly! Oh, improvise. Speaking of which, if you guys uh, listen to podcasts, you should check ours out. Ben Manley's Ice Cream Social. It's at hayscoops.com. Uh, this week we featured two episodes featuring America's favorite public defender, Dave Donnelly. And uh, the episode that comes out tomorrow, uh, we go in depth about the time he took uh, on two death penalty cases in New Jersey. It's so, fascinating uh, stuff, actually. Yeah, it's With a little twist of comedy here. Yeah, we don't let a good, serious interview happen on our show, so. We, uh, we nicknamed the two guys in the Yes, we did. Uh, so, uh, check that out as well. Uh, thank you all for coming out today. If you thought the show was more, worth more than zero dollars, please express it by throwing money in this bucket here. If you liked what I did more than what Matt did, put money in the blue bucket. Um, I really feel like I wasted time today. So just put money in Paul's bucket. There you go. If you got anything left over, go ahead and give a little something to Spadone there. He has that V-neck shaped shirt that is perfect for putting coins in. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so Paul, let's uh, plan on utilizing that. Yes, the ring will be here. We'll figure out some other kind of <laughs> thing with the ring. But uh, thank you all so much for coming out. We hope to see you again next week. Have a great week. Thank you so much. Be safe. Still here. So Matt told me another great story. That you we got. We, we still got. Tuning in. Oh, I can't so, tell the no, story. No, no, that's all right. We, we won't tell the story, but I just want to say bye. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and uh, hanging out. And uh, oh, good. Glad you like the camera positioning. We tried to make that as smooth as possible this this time and keep it away from the uh, microphone for the piano a little bit more, so you guys could hear. Thank you guys all for watching and listening. And big love to everybody. Uh, keep subscribing, and I'm looking forward to Scoop Fest and seeing you all then. Be good. Bye bye.